Hello, everyone. We are here today with Pasha Parfeni from Moldova. It's so nice to have you here. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Roxana. I'm very glad that you called me and we have this uh, such an opportunity to, to talk a little bit. Tell us a bit, how is your schedule these days after you won Moldova's national final? Uh, are you busy? Do you prepare for Eurovision a lot? For sure. Uh, when you... When you think that maybe after the national preselection you will have a couple of days for for maybe for for rest for relax, no, it's just uh, it's just to start. And uh, right now we have a lot to do, and uh, our schedule is absolutely crazy. I'm sure the result will be incredible, so it's worthy. Uh, you compete with the song Soarele și Luna. Can you tell us the story behind your song? Uh, give us some more details about it. So the Soarele și Luna, the sun and the moon is going. We uh, composed this song uh, with my uh, lovely wife, Juliana. And actually we... Uh, Basically, we do it, but this time Yulana was the first who uh, who wrote the lyrics, and after that, I uh, I came up with uh, with the music and with the melody and with the idea. So uh, yeah, and it's about the cosmic. Uh, it's about the love. My our song is about the love for sure, but not the human one, not only the human one, but the um, cosmic one as well. And how sometimes the um, is uh, how sometimes the universe aligns uh, with everything when uh, you make a uh, right decision. That's and it's an about how the, the sun and the moon will uh, will uh, carry. bring you a crown for yeah, you and yeah. for your fiance. Yeah. And That's my it. hero, for example, my hero, he uh, he talks to to natural uh, to mother nature to the river and to the um, to the woods and uh, he talking about his uh, how how he is is inspired and um, about such a such an important event that will uh, will happen i mean the wedding that's so nice and the lyrics are inspired by folk literature right and traditional literature yeah, you're right. But uh, reading the comments, reading the, um, I mean, the comments not from uh, our country and not from Romania, we, we've we noticed that every country and every, uh, I mean, the citizens from not only from our culture and from our tradition, somehow they, they find, uh, they find ourselves, uh, they self in uh, our lyrics. And somehow the mythology what we what we are talking about um, is very popular. I mean, in Europe, not only in uh, in Moldova and Romania and Ukraine and on the Balkan. So such a symbols, cosmic symbols uh, like the sun and the moon, uh, they are important for everyone for sure. Yes, that's true. And you have in the music video and in your live performance so many traditional elements and an incredible outfit. Uh, how you decided to to use them? Uh, actually, it was easy um, because, uh, for example, to our, my uh, back vocalist, yeah, back, my backing vocal with horns. Everyone asks what what is what it means. In uh, our culture, we have uh, such a symbols like Muma Paduri. It's, you can uh, protectors of the woods. Can we say like that? Security, the like spiritual uh, security of the of the um, of of woods. And uh, in our song, they symbolize they um, they protect our love and our hope for for the future. And uh, the guy with pan flute with uh, with with the flute. In uh, in our tradition culture, uh, traditional culture, we have uh, such a uh, character like uh, Statu Palma Barbacot. I mean, it's uh, it's about the magic uh, character. Uh, actually, he helps me to to protect to protect and to 
to make everything all right and to win my uh, my uh, lover's heart somehow with his flute. So everyone That's... is uh, very positive with no uh, negative uh, characters on the stage. Yeah, so the whole performance will be protected by good spirits. <laughs> yeah, sure. And with the sun and the moon. Yes. Uh, so I uh, saw on your Instagram that you started to work at your staging for Eurovision. Uh, do you intend to keep it similar with what you had in the national selection or do you want to change it uh, 100% to come with something new? So we will keep it uh, like that, but we change everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean the staging because on the national final it's, it was a little bit uh, difficult to, to make it how we want. And uh, for sure we want... Uh, may, maybe you will find some changes even in the uh, performing team on a stage. And um, yes, we we change, we don't change nothing, uh, anything when we change everything. So uh, yeah, it will be out different outfit, different uh, um, staging, different um, different message, even different message in uh, uh, talking about um, uh, communicating strategy. We can't wait to see the performance. And we know that is not your first uh, participation in Eurovision. You competed in 2012 with the song Lautar. How was that experience for you? Well, I loved every step I in my career, in my uh, rising up. And uh, I'm in love with uh, 2012 and with my performance, uh, Lautar. But some, somehow I uh, developed. And uh, even my uh, choices and my taste, my taste is uh, developing right now. That's why um, uh, what we are doing right now with uh, the song Suarele Shiluna is more uh, refle is uh, re reflecting what I am like an artist more than uh, eleven years ago because yeah, I am a little bit different. <laughs> And uh, you participated multiple times in Moldova's national selection. I remember 2020 when you participated with My Wine. Uh, do you plan for a while to return to Eurovision uh, after you, you first participated? Do you, you had this in mind to come back one day in, uh, in Eurovision? Oh, we, uh, we are, we, right now we are focused only on our performance in Liverpool. We, I'm, uh, I'm not ready to answer. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's focus only on uh, uh, what we have to do this year. I'm I'm not ready, really. <laughs> <laughs> but how you started your music career in the first place? I think this would be an interesting story for uh, for our viewers. Actually, I have um, a video shooting from uh, kindergarten when I have been a small ch a small child, three years old, singing, dancing. Actually, my parents, uh, uh, my mother is a teacher in the musical school, and my uh, father is a singer. Where the singer uh, was the singer because he, uh, unfortunately, he died last uh, last year because of COVID. And uh, yeah, he he was a singer in on the weddings. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so I uh, I was encouraged to to make music from from the very beginning. Yes, I see. And who are your role models in music? Which artists do you do you like the most? Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Freddie Mercury, Stevie Wonder, oh, like that. Many big names, yeah. And uh, do you had the time to listen this year's Eurovision songs? Do you have uh, a favorite song? Are you looking forward to meet any of uh, of the other participants? Sure. Um, and uh, I like the I like my uh, colleagues this year. I have a couple of songs that I like the most. Um, yeah, uh, it feels like we have a great show in Liverpool. And I really hope that everyone will uh, enjoy this show. I mean, the participants as well, because uh, because because for 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 our joy and your joy, we start to do uh, we start doing music. And let's uh, I I would like not to forget this this thing that everything doesn't matter the contest, but 
what we do, we do for 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 AJ. Uh, the contestants from uh, Latvia and Romania were present in uh, Moldova's national uh, uh, final. Did you get the chance to meet them to to talk with them? Just a bit. We make uh, we made some pictures, and uh, that's it. Unfortunately, they disappeared after <laughs> their performance. <laughs> Yeah, and I had a big interview after that. You know, when you you won the national final, you have the, a lot to do, and uh, yeah, unfortunately. But hopefully, we will we'll meet will meet each other, and maybe at some pre parties, maybe in Barcelona, maybe in uh, uh, Amsterdam. I don't know. Are you looking forward to the pre parties uh, to meet the Eurovision fans uh, to promote your songs in uh, in different cities? What pre parties do you want to attend? Yeah, sure. We uh, we already uh, already um, we are booked already for some pre parties. We start with Barcelona at uh, twenty five uh, of March. After that, we are, we go to uh, Poland, Warsaw on first of uh, April. First of April. After that, um, uh, Tel Aviv, second April. So and. Uh, even in Madrid at 6th April, um, after that 15th uh, April is um, 14 or I, sorry, I don't, I, I don't remember. I guess 15th is uh, Amsterdam and 16th is uh, London. Your schedule is, uh, is very busy these days, but uh, I'm sure that it's going to be an incredible uh, party with all the Eurovision fans. And I know that you are a big Eurovision fan yourself. so. Uh, in the Eurovision history, what are some of your favorite performances or moments, uh, something that really impressed you? Okay, I'm not very original here, sorry, but uh, the, um, the all-time best performance, I mean, the legendary performance for me is Abba at Eurovision. Yes. And uh, uh, you were one of our uh, favorite in every poll we had on Wii blogs each time when we asked who uh, people wants to win for Moldova you were number one and uh, did you feel the the support for uh, from the fans did you receive a lot of messages before the national final after the national final how do you uh, see the the reception of your of your song yeah it's uh, uh, it's very important for for us it was very important before the national final and uh, right now, it's very important as well to um, to um, to have such a many supporters from every corner of the Europe, and uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. But uh, still, we don't we'd like to uh, we'd like to to keep our vibe uh, and our state of um, our focus on what we have to do on the stage. Because our staging uh, have to be very uh, not life changing. I would like um, our staging will change the um, the tops because before that, for sure, you you can notice the possibility of uh, national broadcasters are very different from uh, from country to country, and uh, when we everyone will be shot by the same uh, broadcaster it will be a different the different that's why i'm personally me i'm absolutely focused on uh, what i have to do on my vibe on the, on the stage on uh, my message on the stage and uh, what i have to um, uh, to tell to europe what is my song about what is what is i am about um, and to keep it like I, I would like to be uh, very focused on what I have to do. I'm sure you will succeed and you will do a great job. And for the end of our interview, it's your time. The floor is yours to send whatever message you want for your supporters and for our Wii Blogs viewers. So the floor is yours. So, yeah, the, for me, uh, your revision is a um, celebration of uh, cultural diversity. But this year... I would like to use uh, the power of my music to um, for maybe even more important things like peace, like the unity. Maybe um, I would like to, to talk more about the ecology, and about the things, maybe about the planting trees. Let's maybe let's plant some trees together. Why not? Let's think about not only the place, uh, how 
higher you would like to be but what the message we have to to bring to the world yeah so i would like to concentrate on such uh, kind of messages and i invite you to join us together to have such um, this kind of pray eurovision prayer for peace for unity for for our uh, mother nature that's a wonderful message thank you so much for this interview and we wish you the best of luck in eurovision so this was Pasha Parfeni from Moldova. Thank you so much. Thank you.